Welcome back to Phasmophobia. Let's do this. So, I'm thinking maybe it's about time we try to do either a large map or a medium map. Probably won't do prison because there's no smaller version of it. But uh, Sunny Meadows Restricted, I feel, is pretty medium. Sunny Meadows Prison and Maple Lodge Campsite are massive, more or less. But with the new lighting update, it makes it a little bit more bearable for not only me, but also for you guys to watch me walk around in these places in the dark because it's not quite as dark as it used to be so i think we're going to go for hmm nah, let's get in here get in the single player first what's our daily tasks discover the ghost type buy an item in the store capture a three-star ghost photo and play a medium map well that lines up perfectly we also still need to collect bones take some three-star ghost photos which also lines up with one of our daily tasks. And we already have the rest of it complete. Let's hop into here. We are done with that challenge for now. The only thing you guys really seem to enjoy is Nightmare, so I might as well torture myself on that one. Let's go into here and buy up some stuff and add it to the van. Yep, that's some good stuff. I have all this uh, tiered right, right? Yep, let me check through here real quick, make sure I have everything set up proper. I think if you play a larger map, you get a higher reward too, which would be nice. Got the tier 3 lighter finally, which is going to be amazing. Let's see, almost done. Don't have the tier 3 crucifix yet. You basically don't get that until you're ready to prestige. I'm not entirely sure I'm going to prestige. We can get this. I might. Well, we'll have to see when the time comes. There's that. And last thing. Okay. So, now if I come over here, let's make sure to the spirit box. Yep, that's been updated. Let's come on over here. We'll do Maple Lodge. It's got the, it's probably the most um, graphically pleasing. So then, of course, we'll be doing this in Nightmare because we hate ourselves. <laughs> let's get into it. Ooh, that's not great weather. What is it, raining? I think that's heavy rain, too. That kind of sucks for me. EMF, crucifix, firelight should be easy enough. Um, yeah, the lighting here is going to make this really handy. Oh, didn't realize there's only two cameras in this whole place. Uh, let's see... The headlights are really nice now. I think we'll walk around with that instead of a flashlight. We want to locate the ghost as quickly as possible, so we're going to take our EMF. We should honestly be taking a smudge stick with us, because most of these ghosts are going to try to kill me as soon as possible. So yeah, we'll take an EMF and a smudge. I ain't trying to be a bitch, but <laughs> so I ain't trying to die, because that doesn't sound like it would be very fun for anybody. Including you guys. Well, at this point, we just kind of got to walk around a bit and see what we can see. I don't really know where all the cursed possessions spawn at here. I know the monkey paw can be over here. Which can be very helpful. Nope, that's locked up. We don't get to use that for safe hiding. Found the generator. We might as well kick that on. Downside to this is the ghost has to have been mildly active in order for us to even find it with this. Go ahead and turn a light on in here for right now. I think uh, tarot cards have the potential to be in here. Well, I thought that was tarot cards. It's a really old looking remote. They made the lighting really cool, but they also kind of broke it a little bit. I'm alright with it, though. 
Well, uh, freezing breath is going to be our main indicator if we stumble across the ghost room. Hopefully we find something with the EMF as well. There's a few different ways to track down the ghosts. Obviously the one I just talked about is the freezing breath. The other one's walking around with the thermometer and just kind of waiting for it to get really cold compared to every other room. That one's a little bit more quick because the ghost doesn't need to be an active ghost in order for you to find it. With the EMF it does. Not sure that's really a hiding space. Freezing breath isn't the greatest one to go off of because if I'm just walking along here, I just, I, is it here or is it just cold? Now that's another question. On the bone. Not getting any EMF yet. None of these... Oh, that door's been ripped open. Oh, hey look, a ghost. Oh, there's the EMF 4. Let's go grab some stuff now. So I'm thinking the ghost is in that main area, so... Even though I just said freezing breath isn't the best one to go off of, clearly it's useful. <laughs> you know, I don't mind the ghost proving me wrong as long as it helps me find it. Uh, so that took a minute, but we did end up locating it. Um, it's actually in a really decent location, too. So what we're going to do next is take in a crucifix and place it down, I guess, in the general area. And then I can drop the smudge and lighter and bring back multiple items at the same time. Not the safest thing, but it's safer and quicker. We're not safer, but it is quicker than doing these things one at a time. I feel like this is an area where more stuff could spawn. I'm not sure. Thought it was hunting there for a second. Holy crap. I'm going to assume it's just over here at this tent. Let's get that down. Could toss that stuff. Could run like our life depends on it, because it kind of does. <laughs> <sighs> don't know what the ghost is. I only had that one interaction to go off of with the breaker being on. We would not have been able to tell if it was a Hauntu or not. Alright. So we get that in there. Um, I guess we should take a video cam. Uh, thermometer and UV. And then we'll come back in for the photo cam a little bit later. That'll be good, because we can immediately get a bone photo. Okay, I forgot, I should probably check OBS. Yep, it's still good. I was doing something on OBS, so... Wow, the rain looks weird. I was doing something else on OBS. It'll be a future surprise, is what we'll call it. <laughs> I'm not sure if the ghost is just around here in the general area, or if it's in that red tent. Let's kill that, and let's look around for orbs. A little bit harder to see when it's raining and if it's snowing outside. But, uh, orbs will be the only thing going up. So far, nothing. It's temperature out here. Five. And seven. The ghost is definitely out here. Three. Eight. I think it's out here in the general area. Let's try to get this stuff out here. Gonna toss that right there. We have no orbs we need to worry about, so let's get that light back on so we stop draining our sanity. Zero sanity makes some things easier than others, but we don't want the ghost to try to start killing us just yet. If it is right there in that kind of common area, then it should uh, be prevented from hunting by that crucifix, which will be nice. It's throwing some stuff around. It's not exactly a shy ghost by any means. 
definitely moving some stuff. The rain looks really buggy on camera. <laughs> Uh, oh, that's right. I got these and I can rotate them. I can check around and make sure I didn't miss anything. Keeping an eye out for ghost orbs. Somebody put a giant pillar there in my way. This is a nightmare, which is unfortunate, trying to find the ghost with one less evidence than normal. Alright, let's get... These two, and another crucifix. And the next time we come, we'll probably grab the camera and another smudge stick. Bad part is, with the location that the ghost is, it's, it just starts hunting. I'm kind of just dead. Plus, it's a relatively slow ghost. Didn't seem to be most active right about here. Let's get that crucifix down. We'll kill this light and try to get some spirit box. Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Spirit box it is. Let's go faster. Let's go faster. There we go. Alright, so we got our first of two evidences. Let's see what that narrows us down to. We got Spirit Box. Oh, uh, we know it's not going to be the Mimic. We haven't been able to disprove any other ghosts yet. Um, uh, yeah, we just got to keep going. We have at least one of every evidence item in there except for Das. I'm going to take a smudge stick, the dots, and the photo cam, and then I'm going to try to remember where I put my lighter. That way I'll at least have a smudge stick at the ready. I'll be ready to drop the dots. I just got to try. I think it's right through this door. Thought it was right through this door. Well, if it's not right through that door, I better get out of here. Because it's I'm feeling like it wants to kill me right about now. Actually, I think I left it right inside that red tint, which is pretty dumb. That makes more sense. But Scory is not an option, so we don't got too much to worry about there. Uh, Wraith is a potential, so we should try to get some salt in there. Wraith will show up on dots. Might as well just wait here for about two seconds just to see what we get. I honestly should have dropped the photo cam and the smudge stick just outside that door of the uh, entrance building. Whatever you want to call that. The reception office. There we go. Uh, it's not giving me anything easily, so I didn't really expect too much out of it. I think it is more in front of that red tent rather than in the area in front of the red tent. So I still got the photo cam and smudge. Basically, I need to pick up the lighter. We'll get in there and we'll take a photo of the bone. And we'll try to camp ourselves inside of the area with the crucifix. That way it can't hunt on top of us. That seems like a sound strategy. So we can get these lights on too. In this instance, we do want to somewhat prevent our sanity drain. Can we not light this? Okay, that's dumb. Yep, there's the other smudge stick. I think it's just an event, but it is very invisible. That was interesting. 
He's invisible. And there's a ghost that does that. What is that? It's not the phantom. Maybe the mare when the light's on? I'm not sure. Not an Oni. Didn't kill the breaker there either. Yeah, we already knew it wasn't going to be an Oni. I don't think that's good. Is that ghost writing? That is ghost writing. Okay, that gives us another evidence then. Now, I had a lot of good ones. But we'll have to live with it. Okay, so we got our evidences. Not most of us we got to worry about, aside from the ghost killing us. Um, it's no longer a wraith, so we could go get salt, and that'll allow us to get salt picks. Should be good to do that right now. Nice part about this is that immediately kills line of sight if it decides to hunt when I'm running away. Now I can go and I can grab all three salt containers. That'll give me nine photos if I get it to step in it. And I need two, four, six, eight. So that works out beautifully. I'm not going to be getting any fingerprint photos. And it is going to be pretty hard to get an interaction photo from this ghost. So I'm going to put all of the salt in one spot. Literally all nine pieces or things that it'll let me. And it means I will have to be very careful and hope that it will pretty much... Uh, do whatever it's going to do right there. But it shouldn't be too terribly difficult. I've seen it happen before. We'll, everybody will run into the building. They'll find the ghost room. And they'll place down salt. And the ghost is going to be some like banshee or something. And just go like straight to the entrance afterwards. And then we're all kicking ourselves. Because we just lost all of our salt. Wait, this ghost has been, I think, right here is a good one. Because if it starts trying to do anything, I can just walk away. <laughs> and at this point, now we need the ghost to start doing stuff. It did kind of wander over there. I still, I just heard it open another tent. I don't know which one. I think it's still over here, though, especially now that I'm back over here. Yeah. Yep, it's still here. Okay, we're good. I'm gonna stand over here, now I have this... Ooh. That is the ghost model, if I can get him to walk in the salt, thank you! I'm gonna do that, just so we can clear you for the moment. I'm gonna take my salt photos. Five... Six... Seven and eight. There we go. Photos are done up. I can go grab this smudge stick now. Can we not light this campfire? Is there something terribly wrong with this campfire here? Is it because it's raining? That's kind of dumb. So now we've got our salt photos. Uh, that was an interesting sounding ghost. It's a very vocal one. I want to have this light. these lights on. Want to listen for if the light clicks off before it uses up the crucifix, or if it just shuts off before using the crucifix. I believe that's a decent way to tell if you got a mare you're working with. Unfortunately, at this point, we just gotta wait. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my headlamp for right now. That way, I can uh, have a nice clean escape should I need it. We are not working with the ride juice, so we're going to go ahead and just kill that for right now. That's kind of annoying for me. I'm not sure if you guys could hear it or not. I do have my game volume turned down for the recordings. I think one thing you could do with the uh, spirit box is if you have a Diogen, they'll give you like the, the breathing ghost sound effect over the spirit box. So it might be worth it just turn it on let it sit here. But it still might be working with a mare, so I kind of need to leave this light on. I think in a future update, that little light source that the ghost turned on in there is going to count as a... We got a Diogen! Nice. 
nice easy ghost to work with just keep your distance because every ghost reach is like 10 feet in front of it for some reason but uh yeah you, you just walk away from it while you got line of, while the ghost has line of sight of you this is pretty great because it means I could turn my headlamp back on Got to kind of make sure we stay out of this range. But does it try to kill us? That's a bit of a tight area there, so we'll let it speed back up. And there we go. So we have all photos. Um, we somehow did not prevent it from hunting with the crucifix, so I am going to be running back in there and doing that. Nice. So we could also try to use the spirit box and have it do its breathing sound effect, but I kind of want some light out of the notes. Not worth it to try to turn off my electronics. So we're going to grab the big light. Oh, yeah. Mm, look at that light. And what do we need to do? Put out a firelight and prevent the ghost from hunting with the crucifix. Since I have the tier three lighter, I can just hold that in my hand lit and it'll count. Well, I also have my big flashlight and my headlamp on. <laughs> Gotta love that. <laughs> this ought to work out pretty nicely. We also don't need to worry about keeping the lights on anymore. So at this point, it would actually help if I just stand over here and try to get the ghost to hunt from over here like it should be. Now the ghost should be able to put out my lighter, and that will count as uh, putting out a firelight. We can actually have this set up to watch that. And I should be under the protection of at least this crucifix here. It's kicking a lot of cans over there. So we could just drop that, bring this over here, just. Oh, it's an event. I was like, what the hell? That should give, there's a little bit of a gap between these now, but it wants to do shit over there and it wants to do shit over here. You know, it's not been consistent about either. Alrighty. Now we just wait. There's that objective complete. That also could have been two photos. If you're quick enough with it, you can get the interaction and then you get to burn the crucifix. It also tells me that the ghost is on top of me right now, so it should blow out my lighter. I heard that. You just blew it out. Apparently that doesn't count. Screw this ghost. Used up that. That gives me about my 10 to 25 seconds to get out of here. Now I'm going to go grab a lantern and bring that in. Wait, do I have lanterns or am I still stuck with candles? That might suck. Ah, I'm stuck with candles. That is going to suck. All right, I'm going to have to put this under the cover because if I try to light this, it actually won't even let me light it to show you. It, it just can't be lit out in the rain. Couldn't even tell my light was on. There we go. I light it up inside. As soon as you walk at the threshold of the door, though, it's a no-go. Hoping right here, yes it will. It'll let me put it up and light it there. And I'll sit here with this lit still. It might have just gone out on its own. Clearly the ghost is still here, so it should put that uh, candle out if it can. Or if it feels like it, more or less. Loud, motherfucker. And that's that. Oh, it is hunting. Jesus.
Dude sure is making a mess. Not even sure how he hunted in there. The crucifix is still covering that area. Dude's getting a bit faster. Take these nice and wide. Allows them to still see you until you can't. Yeah, pretty much my walking speed right now is almost not enough. And that's that. That costs us a total of one smudge, uh, one candle, as they are both consumables. And I think that's basically it. All completed. We discovered the bone. Got all three star photos. I guess I needed the three star ghost photo. Can I still take that? That's an interesting question. Let's find out. Still keeping this smudge on me, just in case. Because if I get in a corner stuck on something that realistically I shouldn't be getting stuck on, I don't want to find out the hard way. Because if I run out of sprint, it's kind of the end. I need a little bit of a burst here and there in order to escape this ghost. So I do want to stay on top of one of these. Oh, there he goes. Are you doing an event? I don't know where the ghost is. I think he's outside of the map right now. I think it is actually hunting, but it's outside of the map. And it is glitched to all fuck. But I'm not willing to put my face into it and get killed. It's like, got this far already. <laughs> I was going, it's, it's literally a stuck Diogen. I still have no idea how the hell it's hunting on top of that crucifix. It should be covering, except for maybe like the far corners of that tent. Gotta stay over here while we'll be nice and safe. Because we could go ahead and get these lights on. I should be zero sanity. Oh, it actually tripped the breaker, or the generator. Hmm. Well, I could go turn that on, but we're going to avoid that. So now we're going to tell if we can get a three... Oh, now it uses a crucifix. Now we're going to tell if we can get a three-star ghost photo if we've already filled up all of our photos. This will be interesting. That was my ears. Thank you very much. Should be hunting any second now. I gotta scroll up from my camera in order to quickly gain access to my smudge. Do 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 I would be singing a campfire song, but I can't get the campfire lit because in-game physics are think that they're better than real life physics. Is this dude's name? Billy? Billy Shipman? Oh, I did not realize these guys were, uh, Doctor Who fans. That's what I'm talking about. Literally just got stuck there. No good reason. Alright, now we should just start focusing on, uh, getting out of here. Come on, shipman. Gonna feel the touch of an angel today.
Alright, let's go see what we got. That was good enough, one of those should have been naturally a three-star ghost photo. Now we're gonna find out if you actually need the star ranking system in-game, or if it's good enough. Unfortunately, you need to get your three-star ghost photo in your actual photo album. That is unfortunate. Like I said that twice, but that's how unfortunate it really is. Oh, nope. we got us there, Diogen. Easiest ghost to run away from, unless you get stuck on a tree or a log. Or the slightest blade of grass. Ooh, we unlocked a new motion sensor. But we got a crap ton of money for doing it. Let's see, do we get a bonus? Play on him. No, playing on the medium map was part of my daily. Uh, perfect investigation, bone, rewards, photos. Uh, yeah, so you don't actually get a bonus for playing on a medium or large map. Unless it's part of your daily uh, objectives or whatchamacallits. Let's go ahead and unlock our tier 3 sound sensor. It's probably useful for something. I'll never know what. That's an amount of research I don't intend to do. Go ahead and sell all this crap. Alrighty. That is going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you could leave a like or subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Anything you do to help out the channel helps me pour back more back into the channel. That being said, I will see you next time. Have a good one.